our lives would not be the same, without these inventions. Most significant inventions, do not have a single inventor. Instead, they have been developed separately by many people, or many people have had a hand in their evolution, from basic concepts to valuable inventions. Here is a selection of our top picks, for revolutionary inventions, that changed the world. The wheel, was a major innovation, and an engineering marvel. Before the invention of the wheel, humans were severely limited in how much, and how far they could transport goods over land. Around 3500 BC, the oldest known wheel was discovered in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, and was originally used by potters to shape clay. Later, became the combination of a wheel and a fixed axle, that allows the wheel to be connected to a stable platform. This wheel and axle concept was a stroke of brilliance. The wheel became more advanced over time, with the development of other technologies. Now wheels are vital to our way of life, found in everything from clocks to vehicles to turbines. The compass, ranks up top with the most important inventions, as it has helped us immensely over the years. The Chinese, most likely invented the earliest compass around 200 BC, which was made of lodestone, a naturally occurring form of the mineral magnetite. It was first used for fortune-telling and geomancy. However the first use of compasses for navigation, was around the 11th century. Needle compasses came decades later, and in the 12th century, compass appeared in Europe. It enabled mariners to navigate safely far from land, opening up the world for exploration, and these discoveries helped to map out the world, in the 13th century. All these helped the subsequent development of global trade. The steam engine, was a true revolution in technology. In 1712, British inventor Thomas Newcomen, unveiled the first commercially viable steam engine. The Newcomen atmospheric engine, used steam to power a pump. Though it was not very efficient, hundreds of these engines were used for pumping water, from British coal mines, and flooded areas. In the late 18th century, Scottish inventor James Watt, greatly improved the efficiency of the stationary engine. He patented a double-acting engine, that used high-pressure steam on both sides of the piston, to double the output. Following Watt's improvements, many inventors attempted to adapt the steam engine, to modes of transport on both land and water. By the 1800s, these improvements powered trains, mills, factories, and numerous other manufacturing operations. Concrete, is another great invention, and has a long and interesting history. Cultures across the globe have used concrete, and concrete-like substances to build. Because the material has changed over the years, and turned into a more efficient material, it's hard to say how long concrete has been around. Around 6500 BC, the first concrete-like structures were made by Nabatea traders, or Bedouins, in modern-day Syria and Jordan. During 3000 BC, Egyptians used mud mixed with straw, to create an adobe-like building material. They also used gypsum and lime mortars to bind the adobe bricks together. This is how they built the pyramids, including the Great Pyramid of Giza. By 700 BC, the significance of hydraulic lime was known, that is, cement that hardens underwater. It led to Crete kills, to supply mortar for the construction of rubble wall houses, concrete floors, and underground waterproof cisterns. It has long been believed, that the Romans were the first to use structural concrete in a big way. The breathtaking structures, such as the Pantheon and the Colosseum still stand today. Incredibly, many of these ancient buildings are not only standing, but remain in good condition, a testament to the longevity of ancient concrete. Penicillin, is an antibiotic, and one of the first drugs to be used to treat infections, caused by bacteria. Penicillin was discovered by Scottish scientist and Nobel laureate, Alexander Fleming in 1928, in a London laboratory. But it proved very difficult to produce in quantities until the mid-1940s. 
penicillin experiments were eventually moved from England to the United States, and in time, they were able to mass produce it for use during World War II, and this wonder drug saved countless lives. The great success of penicillin led to the search for other antibiotics, that are widely used today in everything from vaccines to cancer drugs, and has enabled physicians to treat formerly severe, and life-threatening illnesses. The nail, is another important, and arguably underrated invention. Before the invention of nails, wood structures were often built, using rope to interlock adjacent boards. Some cultures developed sophisticated woodworking techniques, to interlock wooden structures together. Early civilizations, such as the Egyptians and the Romans, used crude nail-like fasteners made from various materials. It's unknown exactly when nails were first invented, but bronze nails dating from around 3400 BC, have been found in ancient Egypt. These were later replaced by iron and steel over time, with most made by hand. Until the 18th century, nails were individually hand-forged by blacksmiths, and later the technology for crafting nails continued to advance. Today nails are readily mass-produced, and are so common most people take them for granted. Fire, has played an important role throughout all of human history, and some studies suggesting, the earliest use of fire goes back as far as 2 million years ago. It's a natural reaction, that fire didn't need to be invented. The earliest creatures, that predated human beings were probably well aware of fire. When lightning would strike a forest and create a fire, it probably intrigued and amazed them. However, it's certainly possible that fire was obtained naturally, and was kept burning to use for various purposes, such as cooking and heating. Fire also provided some protection against predators. Evolutionists theorize, that over time pre-humans may have also learned, how to make primitive fires using sticks and flint. These scientists believe, that learning to make and control fire was most likely, one of the earliest discoveries made by pre-humans. Paper changed the world literally. People in various places around the world, were writing long before the invention of paper. Materials such as bark, silk, wood, and leather functioned in a similar way to paper. Also they carved very important notations into stone, or bone. Before the invention of paper, the Chinese wrote on long bamboo strips, or on silk, but silk was expensive, and bamboo was heavy. Officially, paper was invented in 105 AD, by a Chinese court official named, Kai Lun. What Kai Lun had done was, mix the bark of a mulberry tree, hemp, and shredded cloth rags with water, mash the mixture into a pulp, press out the liquid, and hang the resulting sheets out to dry in the sun. His attempt was succeeded, and paper was quickly adopted by the Chinese. It then spread via the Silk Road to other parts of the world. Paper and the printing press worked hand in hand, to drive literacy, spread knowledge, and improve the world. The printing press, helped information travel around the globe. German goldsmith Johannes Gutenberg, is credited with inventing the printing press, around 1440 AD. However the history of printing beggings long before Gutenberg's time. Woodblock printing in China dates back to the 9th century, and Korean bookmakers were printing with movable metal type, a century before Gutenberg. But it was Johannes Gutenberg, who improved the existing technology, and introduced them to the West. He was the first to create a mechanized process, that transferred the ink, from the movable type to paper. By 1580, Gutenberg presses were operating throughout Western Europe. With this movable type process, printing presses exponentially increased the speed, with which book copies could be made, and thus they led to the rapid and widespread dissemination of knowledge, for the first time in history. The light bulb, is another crucial invention. Like all great inventions, the light bulb cannot be credited to one inventor. It was a series of small improvements on the ideas of previous inventors, that have led to the light bulbs we use in our homes today. In 1880, American inventor Thomas Edison, 
received the patent for his electric lamp. Edison's patent was an improvement on electric lamps, not the invention of them, but because of Edison's design changes and the materials he used, such as a carbon filament, his patent allowed for an electric lamp that was reliable, safe, and practical. This invention changed the way dramatically on how we use energy, and also had a rather unexpected consequence of changing people's sleep patterns.